Hey there you guys, welcome. Thank you so very much for tuning in to Just No Spice. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. So I am continuing my interviews with people from Freetown, Sierra Leone. And today I have the pleasure of introducing Lawyer Rashid. He is one of the attorneys that work for Christian Lawyers Center. It's also called Legal Link in Freetown, Sierra Leone. They basically represent people that are disabled and or cannot afford legal representation but need legal representation. I am going to provide as much information as I possibly can with regards to his contact information in case you guys need to get in touch with his um, office for his services. If this is a video that you guys find interesting, please give it thumbs up, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please just put it down in the comment section and I will try to answer as much as I can. Rashid, yes. um, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, thank you very much. Um, Rashid Dumbuya, I am a human rights lawyer and also the executive director for Legal Link. Legal Link is a legal advocacy group that defends the rights of religious communities and vulnerable groups in Sierra Leone. Okay. And we do so through legal advocacy, through legal research, uh, public interest litigations. And of course, through training and okay. capacity building. Mm -hmm. And we also ensure to engage in legal and policy reforms. Mm -hmm. And we do so by providing legal opinions, okay. particularly to um, contracts and legislations passed by the government of Sierra Leone through parliament. And of, of course, other, other um, international instruments that they sign and ratify to an international system. Okay, so is your office more of a pro bono type of office? Yes, so we do... And maybe if you can explain what pro bono is. Yeah, yes, yes. So pro bono basically is when um, a lawyer tends to offer free legal services to indigent persons. And we do that a lot. So we have a category of 10 uh, persons that we offer these services to free of charge. Okay. So for example, if you are a disabled, okay. then we will definitely offer to you free services. If you are a vulnerable woman... Uh, abuse women, abuse children. Okay. We deal with also um, orphans. We deal with also war wounded, coronavirus survivors. Um, the issue about labor labor rights. So if okay. you are if you are underpaid or you are terminated Wrongfully. unlawfully mm -hmm. or illegally, okay. we also help you um, get compensation and also get your former benefits. And of course, also environmental rights issues. So okay. we look at more of vulnerable groups and those who are worse in our community. And we know. They don't usually um, have the opportunity to afford the service of a lawyer. Okay. So you must be indigent okay. for us to provide that services for you. So how exactly, if you do mostly pro bono, how exactly do you guys yes, make money and yeah, to, yeah, to yes. pay for your offices yes, and things of that sort? We have really been running on a miracle, I would say. But there are some few philanthropists and um, good um, guys out there who have been also coming in okay. once in a while to support us. We've written a lot of projects um, out there to the government, but unfortunately, we are yet to succeed in them. Okay. But um, we also have um, the legal chambers that okay. also does work sometimes and then gets um, some reward that supports the charitable arm of the organization. Okay. So, But primarily, we have also one or two people out there who are philanthropists who usually send some money to help us to just do some basic programs. That's how we, we, we get money to run. But it's quite challenging, I must confess. Okay. And I wanted to note that I noticed that you had about seven or eight um, legal, legal staffs or interns. Are they paid or yeah. is it a, just yeah, so, a free internship? Yeah, so we have, we have those who are under the legal internship program and we have a few staff. So we have like three staff that are paid okay. uh, monthly. Um, the basic minimum wage okay. so is a kind of small um, um, allowance or stipend we give to them. 
But then those who are doing clinical internship, they benefit in other ways. You don't pay them. It's a, it's a voluntary internship. But okay. they acquire training and knowledge. Okay. And then, of course, they also yeah, have opportunity to go, to, they get exposed to go to courts mm -hmm. and then um, to go to prison to see. Okay. They can also have um, opportunities to go to trainings. Okay. So that's how we, we I mean, we, we in a way, barter almost. Yes, okay. Help them out. So it's a limited time, three months. And they can, can extend to, to six months if they do well in their internship. Okay. And so they, they have a time at least to learn the law, to do visitation, to do advocacy, okay. to do issues around the human rights education. Mm -hmm. So when they leave, they have something to show. And because of the name, our reputation that we have built over the years, they can be easily taken to many jobs that they apply for, okay. legally speaking. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if I missed this um, answer, but how long have you been with Legal Link? Yeah, so Legal Link is four years now. Okay. We opened it in 2018, 10th okay. um, December. Okay. So we just commemorated our fourth anniversary on the 10th of December 2022. Okay. So we have four years going to five. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And where is your office located if someone is interested in your services? Yes, yeah, so Legal Link will be found at the Bite 9 Fort State off Sakela Road, Freetown. Sierra Leone, West Africa. Okay. And we also have an email, um, legallink at gmail.com okay. or rashiddoom at yahoo.co.uk. Okay. And our telephone line is also available, uh, plus 232 079 um, Another question that I have, uh, for the youths that are out there right now. I spoke to another individual that indicated that there were no jobs out here where people were getting paid, especially kids that are getting out of school, mm -hmm. out of college and stuff like that. What What is your take on that and how can we maybe change that or improve on what we have going on right now? Yes, so, so I mean, fair enough, the, the government has done well in terms of creating the legal frameworks okay. for protecting youth and children. Uh, okay. But the disconnect has been with the implementation of mm -hmm. the beautiful laws and making sure the outcome benefits this youth. So, for example, now we have the national youth policy, national youth scheme. What What are these? If you can just a brief yeah, description. So, so, there's a national youth commission. Okay. Set up by the government to address youth issues. Okay. There's a ministry of youth affairs also established to oversee policy wise, you know, youth activities in the country. Okay. And there's also a national youth policy which has been established to provide a scheme to now incorporate youth and help them also have some mid, middle level manpower employment facilities. Okay. So all of these are in black and white, but then implementing them mm -hmm. is the challenge. And so we have a disconnect. That's okay. why we have to the many youths are astray and they are living real lives mm -hmm. and becoming a menace to our society. Mm -hmm. So no wonder we saw the, the August 10th, you know, Buhara. many of our youths we are confused and we are misled, and so that's it on this because they are unemployed. So what they do now is to resort to bike riding, bike riding. So which is when not you, I'm sorry, a bad thing. I'm sorry, when you say bike, bike riding, are you talking about with regards oh, to the transportation? Yes, yes, so they, they engage in bike riding, transportation means to survive, okay. and also riding Okada. It's not necessarily a bad way of, of getting, but then how much will they get at the end? Mm -hmm. That is where the problem is. So because in, in a situation where the economy is so, it's in shambles, there is high inflation, so even the money that they are going from in that equity of that living is not much to so pay yeah, for the day. So the, that's how they suffer again and they resort to drugs. So the issue of Kush is many in our country. So they are countries being laughed at on the issue of drug abuse ah. and the issue of Kush taking. Kush is a, it's a new drug that Sierra and Utah okay. love taking and it's disgraceful. Even there are even records and videos to show that even some people in the military and the police are really taking it. Oh, wow. and, and, and that has disgraced them so much. We are happy that the police and the military rose up and dismissed some of them. Okay. But it's telling you the magnitude of the problem. Mm -hmm. that even within the military and the police, they are not uh, exempt, exempted from this, this menace. Okay. So we have a problem at hand. And because, remember, Sierra Leone is still um, described as a franchise state. Mm -hmm. We're a post-conflict nation. And so we have to be very careful to make sure we don't have youths, you know, left alone. And the you know, unemployment rate, you know, increases as a geometric progression. Okay. And if we don't deal with this, now we are having elections coming. That could be a whole body of men that can be exploited mm -hmm. by wicked politicians mm -hmm. to cause mayhem in our society.
Okay. Um, so regardless of who wins the election, as you indicated, there's an election coming up. Regardless of that, where do you see Legal Link five years from now? Yes, yeah, so Legal Link, we have a vision. In fact, we'll be discuss, discussing with our team what will be the vision for this year. It will be largely on our intervention on elections. In six months from now, we want to see how we can help our, our nation in terms of understanding the process, okay. to participate in the process, to do so in a non-violent way, mm-hmm. in a peaceful way so that we can have a possible outcome. Remember, we have transitioned about three elections now, and they have been largely peaceful. Okay. So we don't want this one to now defeat all of those gains yes. we have made over the years. So in our, in our intervention this year, will be largely on electioneering process, monitoring election, observing, making reports and findings mm-hmm. and recommendations to the authorities so that at the end of the day, we have a peaceful, non-violent election. It's a very tense election, mm-hmm. I must confess, because the, the position is, is, is tagging up okay. you know, and, and, and coming very strong and also the, the incumbent, the only government is determined to have a second time. Okay. So that is going to get a lot of tension in our country. So we want to see how we can buffer the whole situation and coming with our own expertise mm-hmm. to educate our youth, not to engage in violent activity, activities, not to engage in, in, in warlike activities, but to be peaceful and carry out their democratic rights in a way that will reflect on our, our gains okay. over the, the years. Okay. That of peaceful transition of power. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Rashid, or Lawyer Rashid, for giving me a few minutes of your time. Again, if you can repeat your address, yes. your phone number, email, yes. and website yes. for the people that might be interested. Okay, so again, my name is Rashid Dumbuya. I'm the Executive Director for Legal Link, and our num- email is rashiddum at yahoo.co.uk or legallink at gmail.com. Or you can also call us to the number plus 232. 79167457, or you can get to us to our website, legal league, CLU.org. Okay. Yes. And the address is at number 89 for Street of Sakila Road, Twitter. Okay. I'm grateful for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. So there you guys have it. I'm hoping that this interview has been informative. I'm sure that there are people out there that need the services of Christian Lawyers Center, and I have provided the contact information. For you guys so if you have any questions please put it in the comment section and i will be sure to respond again if you guys have enjoyed this video please give it thumbs up please share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one